Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, going over our intraday swing and long perspective. After, again, Kevin Kern practically leaking what Powell may be doing next, had a meeting with him and indicated to Kevin Kern that we may be only doing one more Fed rate hike. We did have a spike and a continuation on our Dragonfly Doji. After the very next day, we had a major gap up. Where exactly may we be headed next leading into this week with many jobs reports to come? What exactly is the play in my opinion? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you want to see pre-market news that you want to be watching, if you're looking for data sets that you want to be watching, for example, 30 minutes before market opened, the market very much does react to certain data sets and you didn't know that they were coming out. Or 30 minutes after market open, if you guys are trading out the gate movers, or just looking for those major volatile breakouts on news that we mention every single day in the Instables room, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today. Again, let's jump into this one. So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our intraday perspective off the bat again, looking at our daily candle structure so we can anticipate what we're looking for going into Monday, as you guys can see again, as we do jump above our 0.786 fib and looking to see if we can hold our prior balance that we did have a rejection from. And again, with our 20 days still below our 50, the question is from here, what will be that momentum that we're looking for to continue on past that prior balance? And in my opinion, the answer to that will be our 20 day crossing back above our 50 and then respecting our 20 to the upside. So we can assume that we will definitely retest our 20 before we do continue on above that prior balance, in my opinion. And again, that proof of concept looking for that possible engulfing candle as we bounce off of our 20, for example, would be that momentum that we're looking for to get that stronger move that we had this last week. So again, looking to see if we do possibly get any rejection, in my opinion, as we do have jobs reports coming in, will be what we're looking for. If we do get a possible major rejection, a possible major move to the downside, then we can have a continuation on this pullback and then retesting our 20 to possibly cross back above our 50 from there may be the scenario that we're looking at. Again, our 0.786 FIB will be that key support level that if we do drop down below, we could continue on lower from Although going into Monday, if we do have a pullback, very much looking to see if we do hold this level, in my opinion, because we could flag from here leading into the next day with jobs reports again. That will be the watch. That's our overall outlook, making sure that we are cautious if we are chasing. However, if we are holding, very much looking to see if we do hold again our 407.41 level or else we can possibly cool down. Now, looking at our weekly chart, candle structure will show us what we're looking for going into next week as far as intraday, again, sitting on a major spike, testing prior rejection levels. In my opinion, looking for any possible major rejection that can possibly give us any gap fillers to the downside on this spike that we had for any proof of concept. Again, back above our 20 weekly moving average for that possible engulfing candle. If we're going to continue on bullish, that will be the watch. Again, in my opinion, looking for any rejection candle, making sure that we do retest our 20 weekly moving average. If we are going to continue on higher again, proof of concept will be key here on the weekly chart. And again, the reason why we have been keeping us on watch and the reason why we could have continued on bullish, as we mentioned, again, with our 12 EMA crossing above our 26 EMA, with our increase in buy pressure that we have been getting, mentioned that we can continue on higher this last week. And that's exactly what happened. So again, going to next week, looking for continuations on increases in buy pressure will give us more confirmation. Now looking at the monthly chart, looking at our long perspective, again, we were looking to see if we can get back above our prior closed candle here. We did get back above. Now we are fully covering our prior candles body showing us that we can possibly close this month's candle with an engulfing candle. We are still looking to see how we do close here. But again, with a retest on our 50 month moving average, we can assume we probably will at least keep some of this strength leading into the end of the month, unless this is a major rejection we're supposed to have on some major sell off. So again, looking to see how this candle closes on the month will be key and looking to see if we can close back above our 20 month moving average if we're going to be completely confident to the upside until then we are very much sitting within a bullish short-term candle looking to see if we can continue on higher now to recap on our intraday perspective again a nice follow-through that we had on our dragonfly doji continuing on higher above our 0.786 fib again our 407 41 level will be key if we do drop down back below it we can possibly continue on lower but currently showing bullish moves no bullish candle structure set up from here but again a nice continuation that we had from our dragonfly doji after respecting our 50 day moving average and our 0.618 fib 
Again, after Kevin Kern mentioned that news, very much looking for that possible continuation as well. Now looking for proof of concept back above our 50 day moving average. If we are going to cross back above with our 20 day, that will be the watch looking for proof of concept here. If we are going to continue on higher with those major moves that we're looking for. Now, again, with that said, if you are looking for pre-market news, major volatile movers that you want to be watching any data sets that you want to be watching before market open every single day, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a break alert today again. And again, all of you instables, I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel every single day. Looking forward to going at it this coming week. Again, simply letting confirmation come to us here in the market will be key. Again, as we do still have our 20 below our 50, we don't want to necessarily go too heavy on chasing when we do have, again, prior balances that we could have rejections from. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.